Hello everyone, welcome back, Bogmod here. Continuing our glorious efforts to conquer our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Everything everything's continuing. Maybe not quickly, but it's continuing. We're now starting to see their nations. Or not their nations, but their their forces. Starting to push into the mountains. So he's attacking me now. Uh, well, let's, let's reinforce. Uh oh. Nope, nope. So here's the nice thing, right? He's attacking us across a river into the mountains. It is not going to go well for him. As an unwise move, tactically speaking. Okay. Oh, I made an unwise move, tactically speaking. Eh, that happens. It's fine, you know what I can do? I can just make another, uh, another army. It's one of the perks. Come on, reinforcements. There we go. Mm, reinforcements. Mm. Sweet, delicious reinforcing. Mm -hmm. See? Nice little victories. How's that war coming? See, 20% in our favor. It's coming along. Mm -hmm. And... You can go like that. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't... I didn't quite want you to launch an attack there. Um... Alright, well, let's do that. Mm. Yay, another victory! There we go. Now we're into the plains, where these fights, as you can see, no penalties. Just a matter of the power of numbers. And if there's one thing China can master, it's the power of numbers. There we are, see? Nice, comfortable victory going our way. I've got more armies being built as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Clergyman coming along nicely. Uh, sadly, we have no cannon, which is a sad thing, as it does impact our ability to uh, siege. Mm hmm. Oh, you fool. You foolish fool. Why did you go there? Now you're just going to be slaughtered. <laughs> slaughtered, and then slaughtered some more. 
France and two Sicilies is at war. Interesting. United K and uh, the Maori War. Ottoman Empire got bigger. They got Aleppo. Okay. Very interesting. So lots of stuff going on. Let's take a little peek over here. So that means the Ottoman Empire just expanded over this chunk right here. Maori are over here, I believe. Somewhere. You can tell this is one of their older games. It doesn't have all those jump to options like all the other, like EU4 has and things like that. Anyhow. Where's. There I am. I can get up there, help him with that. There we are. Just have one place left. And perfect! Now, where's my diplomacy screen? Ahem! Proposed peace. Where I annex the crap out of you. Mm. Terms annex Punjab. Fine! Now, let's check out what happened when we did that. Oh, look at that. We just got 8,000 points. Mm. Putting us very near to the next one for our boomsticks. We do have a bit of an issue, sadly, with our rather high militancy. Uh, so let's first of all give my the orders to return home. Whee! 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 Oops. <laughs> Merge and split and just send you on home. <laughs> You're already going. You're going. Uh, there's you. That's almost everyone. Am I missing anyone? There we are. You. Mm. Here we are. Armistice signed. Panjab surrenders. Ah, the great war between the Turkish Empire and Panjab ended in our glorious victory. The conquest of Punjabi war. Mm. The result was the annex them. Wonderful. Mm. Ooh, we have the saxophone invented. So, now that we've conquered them, let's uh, let's find a way to do something about this right there. So, we release uh, release Ladek, right, right here. Release them for five points. Uh, okay. And then we release uh, we'll release uh, Kashmir. As a satellite, okay, and then we will release Panjab as another satellite, okay. So now we've broke we 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 broke them up, which is fine. But you'll notice we've dropped our infamy down to fourteen point, which makes me a happy happy man. Which means it's time for our next target. Uh, Korea. We, they, they've been sucking up to us. Probably uh, they have a, a small idea what might be about to come. We'll decrease that while we work on it. <laughs> on the plus side, uh, lots of needs are, needs are getting uh, reached now, which is nice. And now we'll justify our next war, and we'll conquer them. Um, four points. So I'm hope if we get if we get it instantly, we're going to be completely boned. But I think that was pretty bad luck where it, where it landed last time. So I think we're going to have good luck this time because that's that's how these things work. RNG goes good then bad. 
perfectly every time. <laughs> then we can conquer them, and then we let them go free. Break them up. Shatter them into a billion pieces. There we are. Reforms. We're going to take our next reform. Ooh, let's, actually, let's take a little peek around. Hmm, post-Napoleonic post thought. We get a fort. Leadership. Hmm. If we don't, I, I'd like boomsticks. Then we get the rifles. Yay, foreign so And that's actually, see, we got right here. Flintlock rifles. Allows the construction of infantry, finally. Oh, that's that's a wonderful feeling. Hello, infantry. I'm going to recruit some of you. Nine of you. A couple of you. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. As everyone knows, Korea is out to get us. No time before they launch an unprovoked attack. It's only reasonable that we take steps to preemptively defend ourselves. Uh, a report detailing that a few schemes has recently been leaked to the press. Put value to our cause. Excellent. That bonus speed, going to be a lot of help. And Alliance, ha 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 ha. Oh, silly, silly Korea. Silly, silly Korea. I'm not going to ally you. I'm going to ruin you. Where are my armies? Huh? Slow going. <laughs> uh, war between the Netherlands and Atje. Okay. What to add? They want to do their own annexing. Pueblo now belongs to the United States. Special lectures at the Council of Science in Beijing. Ooh, the origin of civilization, the Fertile Crescent. Neat. Special prestige of pottery shards from Tier are present. Eight points. Ah, oh, see, that's a great little amount. That worked out wonderfully for us. Eight points. Um, releasing Korea gets us five, so the invasion costs us three infamy. Which, you know what? I can work with that. Uh, Sixteen. The Korean Menace. Again, more accumulation speed. Good, good, good. That's what I like. Well, they've, they've noticed us already, but look at what you can get. <clears throat> not not in anyone's sphere at the moment. Everyone's neutral with them, so no one can get involved in what we're about to do. Mm, how close are we? Eric, right, pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Hmm. Uh, I'll go ashore fourth this time. 66, uh, we, can, we can do better. We can definitely improve things once we get a little more invasion underway. There we are. Declaring war to conquer them. No surprise, all of our goons are joining in. Mm -hmm. 
Burma, go away. Question is, who do I want to eat next? Burma, maybe? Dynam? Hmm. Tough choices. But as you can see, um, all of my various factions, their armies are making the march. No. Most of them are. Some are taking their time because it, you know, it takes a while to get over there. Yay! Good work, guys. Oh, what's this? Once the wind of Western civilization blows to the east, every blade of grass and every tree in the east follow what the Western wind brings. Call the moments, the strange things that have transpired lately. Off our coastline, strange ships have begun appearing. Strange ships with masts so tall as to seem to touch the face of God. First the curiosity, soon every so often, increasing intensity as Gale grows the storm. And tomorrow, stranger their ships, stranger still their customs. There can be no doubt that we must adapt, adopt a policy with regards to these foreigners from Europe. So we could expel barbarians, which would be bad for our research. So let's uh, let's say goodbye, Beijing. We'll in, we'll embrace the Western influence and get plus twenty percent research. Hmm. Yes. Points. Glorious points. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. War is definitely progressing in our favor. Mm. What's this? A, Europe a European military mission. One of the great powers of the West would like uh, a military mission. It might prove a liability in event of war. However, it might also be beneficial to our research. The UK would dislike me, but you know what? I would like to modernize my troops. So yes, military mission for more research points, please. Just keep giving me research. <laughs> As my armies just continue to flow into the region. <laughs> and I must consider then, who will be next on my list of nations to conquer? I think Dynam will have to be next. Oh, Persia, though. Persia. Hmm. But if I want Persia, I'll have to eat Afghanistan. Uh, and that's... That's a whole lot of infamy for very little game. So I think Dynam will have to be it. We can conquer them in one go. Mm -hmm. Hello, news. Portugal and Oman are at war. <clears throat> Chinese Empire at war again. Saxony is afraid of Prussia. Ooh, the Sharp and Robert's power. Mm. Yes, more military missions from the foreign powers. Look at that. Alright, well, you know what? 3.92% is as close as I want to get, I think, on that thing. So. Uh. Icon. Suzu will now get clergyman. There we are. See, look at that. 10%. Mm, so educated. So educated. <laughs> Look at them pressing on. Hmm. It's a good question, though. What to do about Japan? Ooh. We have discovered the flintlock rifle armament. Uh, traced the beginning of the 17th century. The flintlock rapidly replaced earlier firearm English technologies such as the dog lock, woof, the match lock, uh, match sound, and the wheel lock, the wheel noise, mechanisms. 
be in common use for over two centuries, replaced by the percussion cap, and later cartridge-based systems in the early to mid-19th century. Although long superseded by modern firearms, flint lock weapons enjoy continuing popularity with black powder shooting enthusiasts. What is the important part? Our regulars and our infantry all got bonus attack. Which is gonna be great! So here's Japan. The United States is friendly with them. Growing influence. So I think the, Uni the United States is gonna try to put them into a sphere. Which would be bad for us if we try to invade, because then they would uh, they would join in. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So, great powers of the past few years have tried to establish formalized and permanent embassies in the Great Chinese Empire. Which I'll never turn on the province. Should we let them have permanent embassies? Hmm. Perhaps a legion quarter or legation quarter of Beijing could be just a the thing. They have nothing to offer us. Hmm. France would get... Uh, see, I don't want to have infamy. It is it is the reverse of what I want. So, I will let the foreigners set up some embassies. I'm a very kind Chinese empire. We can do no less for them. We can also do no less than taking a little break here. Thank you all for watching, and... Um, why don't you take a, take a shot at my current progression? What year do you think I can westernize it? We'll wait and see and find out soon. Talk to you later.